There are many voluntary chairpersons who are now faced with the task of getting their organisations up and running again after being closed down for a couple of months. It must seem like a lifetime ago since they were first elected and obviously it was a great honour to be elected to chair the organisation, let it be big or small. But never in their wildest dreams did they contemplate the challenges that they are now facing. And to be slightly fearful and to be overwhelmed is only natural. So I would recommend that you look after your own mental and physical health as a, as a priority because you'd be no good to anyone unless you're operating at 100% yourself. You must differentiate between what is controllable and what you can't control and concentrate on what you can control. It would be a good idea to have one-to-one -one conversations with every member of the executive, every man member of the team, all the volunteers, the full-time staff, and some suppliers, and even the heads of other organizations that you know. It's amazing all the people who have worked in the public, private, and voluntary sector for many years, and have never been asked their opinion about anything. And what's even more odd is the fact that they have never given their opinion, although they have an awful lot to offer. They just won't do it unless they're asked. As we say, it has to be dragged out of them. So you drag it out of them. Ask every member of the team, what do they think? How do they feel about how you should progress? And that will be a burden shared and you will be amazed at the response you will get. Because the goodwill is there because those who have worked in the organisation as volunteers or even full time for the, over the years, they, they want us to succeed. And the community that you are serving and the community that you come from, even if even members you're not serving, uh, want your organization to succeed. They, they don't want it to disappear. So there's tremendous goodwill for you there, probably more so now than ever. So harness that goodwill and, and use it. Keep in front of your mind the long term vision of your organization, the, the exact goal and emphasize that in these one-to-one -one conversations with the rest of the team. Just be very, have tunnel vision about your long-term goal, the goal of the organization. It's not just to survive until next week. That's not an option. Just look further than that. Look at the long-term mission and impress on the team the need uh, to look at a long-term vision. In fact, Impress on them that what you want is to come out stronger out of this as an organization than you were six months ago. Not just survive. Do better. In the matter of fundraising, of course, the landscape has changed and many small and big organizations depend on door-to-door -door selling and selling tickets and pubs and that kind of thing, which is not an option anymore. So switch to online selling, switch to an online fundraising method and ask for advice on that. That will be, the success of that will be a factor of the size of your email list. And that's something you must work on and ask your volunteers to uh, get their contacts to subscribe to the organization's email list. This list must belong to the organization, must be there when you leave. So it's not a private email list and keep building on it and ask your the help that's available to build on it probably on a daily basis so that you will eventually have a substantial email list that will make fundraising along with other social media outlets easier and more than anything else that it will be able to be done online because that is the new normal the facilities for having virtual meetings have to be put in place as well. And again, that's the new normal. Uh, we're, artificial intelligence is around the corner if it's not here. So these are just baby steps. And believe me, we all have to get used to them. So have put these 
matters in place, uh, put a, a, a template in place that will achieve uh, great things for your organization. And with the goodwill that's there, you will come out of this bigger and better than before. I'm convinced of that.